Oh yeah, that's right This is Saf's life Oh yeah, that's right Oh yeah, this is Saf's life are you guys ready for a crazy cleaning video <laughs> good morning assalamu alaikum and welcome to another video since yesterday i have not touched my house my kids are not here right now so i'm going to clean um i was supposed to do this last night but i was just like no i just need to chill tonight so sometimes it's okay to just leave your mess leave the house a mess while you just have a relaxing evening even though sometimes it's hard to chill in a mess but just you know hide <laughs> hide where there's not that much mess and chill i've left it for this morning i'm going to do a full hour of cleaning i'm going to set a timer on my phone i'm actually going to set it for an hour and 10 minutes so i have a chance to kind of move the camera around and I'm also going to try and spend about 15 minutes ish on each room just so I have a chance to clean all the rooms um we'll see we'll see how it goes and yeah wish me luck um <laughs> I'm going to show you around each room before I clean it and then after I clean it one hour and I'm going to put 10 minutes just so I have a chance to move the camera around um that's ready to go i'm going to get my tripod i'm going to show you around the rooms and then i will be back so this is the kitchen sinks full this is full worktops are a mess um all this stuff here everything dishwasher is full clothes i mean towels and stuff on the floor that need to be washed but there's also a wash in here so i'm going to put that on after i've cleaned because um, obviously don't know if there's any more also stuff on the floor here come into here and this is like this so that is the kitchen this is the living room so it is just full of clothes just absolutely trash it looks like a bomb's hit this room it's awful so yeah let's go this is my room look at this day oh my god i've literally just rolled out of bed today um, but yeah, this is the state of my room. Actually disgusting. Then the bathroom looks like this. Just crazy messy. And then this is the kids' room. I'm gonna try and not to do I'm gonna try and do this room, but I don't know how that's gonna go. So this is the state of the kids' room. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I literally just got out of bed about an hour and a half ago i had a shower did my makeup and put some comfy clothes on to clean in um i have a baby shower that i'm going to a little bit later today so um i thought i'd just prepare my face for that and then clean and then get ready and go i don't know why but whenever i clean my flat i like to start in the kitchen i just think that the kitchen is the biggest mission so i like to start in here first because it just kind of you know it's the room that i use the most I say that I never cook but it's the room that I want to use the most <laughs> and I just don't like when it's messy so I'm gonna start with this room and then move on so let's go let's start let's set the time out ready steady go
Okay, so the kitchen worktops and everything is done. I haven't done the floor yet because I need to sort out some washing. I'm going to put all the washing in the kitchen first and then I'm com going to come back and sort the floors out. So I'm going to move on to the living room now. So but this is the after of the kitchen. So this room is now basically done, uh, it could do with a mop but this will have to do for now. Now I'm going to move on to the bathroom and just give that a quick going over. 24 minutes, this is not cool guys, I've got less than <laughs> less than half the time left to do my room, the kids room and this room. I'm probably going to have to leave the kids room because we ain't got time for that. Let's do a quick clean of the bathroom, I need my wipes.
Okay, so the bathroom is done. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna rush on to my room now because I've literally got 11 minutes. <laughs> my room is the worst one of them all. Oh, wow we. Okay, I'm gonna start from that side and then work my way over to this side. So, let's go! My timer is done. I failed. I failed at cleaning in one hour. It's nearly one o'clock guys. I need to get ready to go. But my room is still a mess so I might spend another 15 minutes tidying up, putting a wash on, things like that. I'm just going to tidy up this side of the room a little bit and then I'm going to get ready to go so let's do it. finished kind of tidying up got my dress out I'm gonna show you the state of the room now it's not 100% tidy but it's better than it was I'm happy with it right now like it's way better than it was didn't do the kids room didn't put the clothes away but you know we we can't do everything all at once we're not super women okay um, so yeah I'm gonna show you let me show you the room now this is what the room looks like it's not a hundred percent amazing but oh well at least it's like organized a little bit tidy-ish this is the dress that I'm wearing it is from Shein I think I'm gonna show you my Shein haul because I got some beautiful dresses I aim to get like loungewear kind of stuff and dresses but the dresses are so amazing and then the loungewear stuff that I really, really, really wanted. They didn't send me that, but they sent me like the backup items. It is what it is. Like you can't win at everything. So um, yeah, I'm going to be wearing this to a baby shower today. I also got this beautiful dress, which you would have seen me wear if you watched my video where I went to Kobe Sizzlers. It is so beautiful. The color is amazing and it's just the most perfect red dress that I could ask for. It's also got like a slit in here, but it's ver it's a very covering slit, so you can only see it if the wind blows too hard or like you're walking too crazy. But yeah, it's beautiful, it's long sleeve, it's amazing, it's not see-through, love it. Wow, guys, this one is just amazing. <laughs> like this, I could have wore this for my sister's wedding, it's that beautiful, like, it's just gorgeous. Look at like the cut out bits at the bottom and it's like a higher and a lower bit at the back. 
and it's very high necked and it's got a zip at the back it's beautiful i love this one it's gorgeous next one now to be honest with you this one's a little bit big for me so it does feel a bit bin baggy on me like it feels like i'm wearing a bin bag but if it fit you i think it would be very flattering and beautiful um but it's nice I really like it. I love the details of like the flowers. I feel like it would have been a little bit nicer in a different colour as well. I just wanted to get black because I wanted a black dress. But never mind. Um, all of the links for these dresses will be in the description of this video. I will show you the loungy stuff that I got now. My aim for this kind of stuff was to get things to wear to soft play. Um, for if I wanted to go to the park or something like that. Um, but... I don't really like these joggers, they're, they're okay, they're not like the most flattering joggers, but yeah, they're just joggers, they're petite, I think the reason I got them is because they're petite and I find joggers to be really, really long on me, even though they're cuffed at the bottom, like I don't really see any difference, but I just thought I would try them out, see if they fit better, they don't really, I don't like the fact that they don't have a drawstring as well, but never mind, uh, I got these in a petite size small and they are actually huge, but never mind. You know, she and stuff is sometimes good, some, sometimes it's maybe good, sometimes it's maybe bad. It's supposed to be a bad word, but I'm not going to do that. So that is the joggers that I got. Next, I'll show you the tops that I got. How gorgeous is this top? Like, it's so nice and, like, it's all flowy at the top, but it's kind of crisscrossed at the bottom here. So when you wear it, it's like, it's just stylish okay i really love it it's beautiful um i didn't think it was like that to be honest with you when i picked when i bought it i thought it was just like an open one and then they'd like tucked it in but it is um but i really like it i like the way that it fits i like the way that it looks it's amazing um next is this one and oh my gosh guys i love this so so much um, it's so it's it's not like a normal kind of one of these you know what I mean it's more like a jacket shirt jacket it's a bit thicker it's perfect for those colder days which we are getting a lot of these summer holidays but it's got like a kind of a bell are they bell sleeves I don't know but they kind of just make it extra special and I wear this a lot like I've wore it about six times already and I've only had it for like a month but anyway I love this so much I think that it's such a good um everyday kind of piece wear a t-shirt underneath it I love it I need to go and get ready to go to my cousin's baby shower so I'm gonna go and do that and then I will catch up with you in two minutes okay two minutes so guys it is a lot later now I forgot to take my camera with me so I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about the baby shower. This was my outfit. Um, it's a long dress from Shein, the one that I showed you earlier. Anyway, but the baby shower was so lovely. My cousin is getting, getting, my cousin is having a baby. We found out the gender and we had lots of delicious food and cake and it was just nice to see family that I haven't seen for so long. And I also met a girl that I used to go to school with when we were in like year one how crazy is that like such a small world um but yeah it was a really lovely day we played loads of games like pin the dummy pin the dummy put the dummy on the in the baby's mouth <laughs> something like that I don't know what it's called um we played like a movie quiz we did like smell the nappy and guess what it is something like I don't know what the names of these games are but that's basically what they had in them um but that's basically what you do in the game so i'm going to insert all of the instagram stories that i took today and you can see what it was like open it just smell it <laughs> open it show me <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, he's practicing, he's cheating. You're not supposed yeah, to practice, I've known that. Fail. That wasn't bad. That was, bad that was the quite, it was quite close. Oh, oh, where, where no. is the, where's the dummy? Where's the dummy? Oh, clo okay, closer. Okay, where's the, where's the dummy <laughs> oh, this is the real go now. And go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Ya. So guys, I have a story to share with you, okay? It is actually hilarious what <laughs> just happened. Like, honestly, I'm still in shock. Like, I can't believe that people are like this. I honestly cannot believe it. Like, why? <laughs> Wait a second, I'm back. Okay, I'm back. Story time. So, I was driving home. I was going to take a right. And it's like oncoming traffic, that kind of road. And there's traffic lights literally just on the right-hand side of where I was. I was taking a right, so obviously I'm going to be in the lane. On the other side so i'd have to go through two lanes of traffic so obviously i'm going to take advantage of when the lights change so i went in f like in the middle of the lane to like pull it in front of the car that in in the other lane so there's this woman in the car in front of me who's like it would be her turn like she she could let me go if she wanted to or she didn't have to and then the next car would but she <laughs> i looked at her and i was like is it okay if i go like that like i asked her permission she gave me the dirtiest look. She was looking at me like this. I actually did that face wrong. She did it like this. Like she had a, such an angry look on her face and I just didn't understand why she was so angry. Like, fair enough, you don't want to let me go. Just carry on with your day. Like, why make a big deal out of it? But she just kept looking at me like that. The lights had changed. The car in front had gone. So I was like okay, I'm sick of this. <laughs> I decided to inch forward a tiny bit. I knew that she was just going to be uh, like rude about it. So I went really slowly forward and she sped up and like looked at me like this as she went like this. And I was just laughing my head off. I had like the biggest smile. It must have made her even more angry that I was smiling and laughing at what she was doing because it was just ridiculous. The car let me go, um, the next one that was behind her. So I said, thank you to him. And then the person on the right was just laughing his head off as well because he saw what happened. And I was just like, why? Like, why are you so angry? Like, yeah, anyway, I don't understand why people get so, like, weird about letting people go. Like, it's not going to be the biggest deal in the world. Like, you're going to be one car behind somebody else and you've done, like, a nice thing for somebody. I always let people go if they're, like, in that situation or... You know, I, I try to be as nice as I can on the road, but like, I, to be honest with you, I feel sorry for people like that because they must have had a bad day, right? Anyway, that was my story for this evening. I hope you enjoyed watching my pretending angry face. I could not act to save my life. Anyway, so yeah, that's what happened. Fun times. Um, would you let me go? Let me know if you would let me go in that situation. I hope you enjoyed that. It was such a fun day. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how much fun I had. It was so nice and just, it was so chill, relaxed and congratulations to my beautiful cousin and her husband on their baby. I cannot wait to meet the baby, inshallah. But yeah, that is going to be the end of this video now because I'm literally just going to go in my room, get changed into my comfy clothes, take my makeup off and do some work. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Assalamu alaikum. Bye. Oh yeah, that's right. This is Saf's life. Oh yeah.